languages. And if you remember the Sunday school lesson, why we have languages, it's because, as my grandmother says, or said, some people got too big for the britches. They built a tower and they wanted to knock on heaven's door and tell God, look at what we did. And God stopped their building of this tower up to heaven and then confused them by creating languages. And everybody was speaking a different language and they were thinking a different language and they couldn't communicate anymore. And that's the reason why we have to study languages if we want to get ahead in the world. Different languages like English or Spanish or French or German or whatever. In the church, we have our own set of languages. And one of the words that we use in church that the world may not really understand is the word justified. And here's a good way to learn this. I, I know it's good because I remember it when I was in catechism class to help me know what the word justified means, to break it apart. Just as if I'd never sinned. That's how God looks at us. As if we've never sinned because of what Jesus did for us. So that's a good way to remember the word justified. Jesus takes all our sins away and God looks at us and sees his son's perfection in us, not our sins, because our sins were taken away from us when Jesus died on the cross. And so, just as you may go to school or use an app on your phone or tablet to learn a new language, now you know a new language, a church language where you can tell other people. And they don't need an app to learn this new language. You can teach them this language. And what that happens, you have a special relationship with other people that you can tell them. When you explain the word justified to them, that Jesus died for their sins, and God loves them, and you, they can know that because you told them that is what justified means. Let's pray. Please repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, our Father in heaven, our Father in heaven, thank you, thank you for teaching us, for teaching us what the word, what the word justified means, justified means. When you look at us, when you look at us, you see Jesus. You see Jesus. And you forgive our sins. And you forgive our sins. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen.